look at their RAD training program. It's a self-defense class for the community. Class attendees say it's worth taking time to be prepared. News 18's Micah Upshaw has the story. Lafayette police got geared up to host their monthly RAD self-defense training. We basically teach women about self-defense and we also cover different topics such as personal safety, home safety, if you're out and about, cars, the, just a whole gamut of stuff. It's a two-day training. The first day focuses on personal safety and the second day focuses on what to do if it's violated. We're getting ready to go into some scenarios and as we're moving through the moves I see them getting louder and yelling more and just being self-assertive and hope that it translates if they ever have to use this kind of training. There are no cameras allowed while training is taking place. So trainers are encouraging the community to sign up and see for yourselves what's going on behind these closed doors. Once you come once to the class, it's a lifetime membership. So you can come back as much as you want to any of the ride classes for completely free. You don't have to go through the whole course. Class at Kendall Van Court says she's always wanted to take a self-defense class. As someone who likes to travel, she says it feels like a good tool to have. Like be aware of your surroundings, have a game plan in place in case something were to happen. Of course, you know, we hope we don't ever have to use the physical aspects of the training. Um, but if we do, I feel personally that I'd be well equipped. She feels a training like this could benefit the entire community. I think um, if all women are prepared for any kind of situation like this, you know, I think it would just be better for the overall community. Reporting in Lafayette, Micah Upshaw, News 18. Well, thank you, Micah. The next class will be held the first weekend of April. The class costs $10, and once you go, it's free to go again. 157 people died in a plane crash after an Ethiopian.